Hello everyone, welcome back to 5PD. Today we're going to be doing a Blaine County Sheriff's Office Patrol here in a 2008 Crown Victoria with a Wheeland Freedom Light Bar. Uh, we're going to be staying on 68 in Joshua, uh, just kind of patrolling that loop there. Um, and we'll see what we can get into. Alright, we got dispatched out to a reckless driver out here um, on this dirt road, which technically doesn't really have a name. Uh, that parallels Joshua and goes in between the airfield. Um, technically, this is a back road, and you know, as long as you're not being a moron, I don't really care what you're up to. But um, we'll see what this vehicle's up to, and if they hit a main road, we'll kind of observe their behavior, depending on which way they go. Looks like it's going to be a motorcycle, and they're going to be headed the opposite way. So. Doesn't seem to be going too fast. He's taking a left here. It looks like he's going to go out onto Joshua. Um, I'm not real sure what the call was about, other than uh, a reckless driver. He's going about 53 on the dirt road here. Didn't stop at the stop sign. Okay, I'm not sure why there are two stop signs here. He's headed that way. He's going at very, very quick. I can see that from here. We're going to go ahead and light up here. Hopefully we can catch him on radar. 78. This is a Mark 50 here. We're going to go ahead and initiate our siren. Okay. Let's see if we can get him blipped here. Alright. Looks like he's stopping. Um, not surely at the worst location. We're going to use our zone here to get him to stop over here. 521 County. I'll be uh, 1081 with this vehicle here. It's going to be a red and color motorcycle. San Andreas tag. David Edward David 388. Going to be nearest postal 235 Marine Drive. Let's go ahead and cut our body cam on here. Hi there, sir. Deputy Quarter with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you is I got you doing 78 in the Mark 55 zone and also. Uh, on that dirt road back there, I observed you run that stop sign uh, coming on to Joshua. You got an ID on you? Let's go ahead and get this ID here. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and run it. 521 County, can I get a ID check and warrants check on a Toby Sykes date of birth, 524 of 97? Whoops, I ran the tag there, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. Okay, he's got a valid driver's license. Let's, uh, let's ask him some questions. I observed that he's smelling some alcohol, so... Um, I'm... Let's get an observation check. Yeah, we're smelling alcohol for sure. Um, let's see here. Let's ask him... Well, I think we passed it. Let's see if he's had anything to drink tonight. Have you had anything to drink? He says, once I got home, I will have a few glasses of wine. Okay. Seriously, when was your last drink? He says, seriously, please don't take me to jail. All right. Do me a favor. Go ahead and step off the motorcycle here. Um, just for my safety, I'm going to go ahead and patch you down. You got anything on you? just going to poke me, stick me, hurt me? All right. I'm just going to use the back of my hand here. All right. Random pills. Okay. Well. Um, so whose motorcycle is this here? Is this, is this yours? Uh, documentation, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> if I'm doing county, can I get a tag check on that San Andreas tag I read back to you a second ago? So it is actually, was registered in his name, but it has no insurance, no registration. So, whoops, didn't mean to hit that. Let's go ahead and run up through field sobriety test here. Um, because like we said, we're smelling some narc. Uh, alcohol coming off of him and judging by his behavior it's kind of pairing up so um, at this time I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ask you to run through some field sobriety tests do you feel comfortable doing that who's bit he says whose business is it anyway if I'm tipsy okay um, so the first one we're gonna do is what we call the horizontal gas or, sorry horizontal gaze and sagmus test um, basically, I'm going to use the very tip of my finger. 
um, and you're going to track my finger and with your eyes and your eyes only. So I'm going to move it left to right, various speeds. I just want you to um, watch it with your eyes. Do not move your head. Okay. So go ahead. All right. You're going to refuse the test. Okay. All right. Are you willing to do the walk and turn for me? So, all right. So the way this works is you're going to take nine steps this way, facing this direction here. Um, one foot after the other. You can use your left or right foot to start off. Once you get to that end, you're going to keep your non-dominant foot planted and use your other foot to um, do a series of very small steps as you turn around and then come right back. So go ahead and start. It says he falls down. All right, last one we're going to do is what we call a one-leg stand. Um, basically, you use whichever foot you want. It doesn't matter, but I need you to raise one of your feet off the ground, and it needs to be off the ground by about a few inches, at least two or three, um, and keep it there. Keep the keep the tip of your foot pointed at the ground uh, until I tell you to stop. Go ahead. All right, stop. All right, test failed. Okay. All right, go ahead and turn around and put your hands back behind your back for me. Um, at this time, I'm going to be placing you under the rest for uh, driving under the influence. Go ahead and step this way for me. Is there anything on this motorcycle I need to know about? Anything at all, like in the seats or anything? And what are we doing driving on a, a, a motorcycle without insurance registration? Let's ask him. Um... Moving violations. You also, yeah, like I told you, you ran the stop sign. He said, I did roll through that son of a gun, didn't I? Yes, sir, you did indeed. Um, let's go ahead and just set him in here. So, yeah, he's going to be going to jail for driving under the influence. Um, we'll draw his blood once we get back to the ESO. Let's search this motorcycle, see what we get. I'm not finding anything. So, yeah, he's driving on... Uh, DUI and let's go ahead and call a tow truck for this thing. 521 County. Can I get a uh, tow truck and route for a red and color motorcycle with that bearing that same San Andreas tag near supposed to 235? Um, we're going to impound this motorcycle here. We're After that, we're going to take him um, and get him booked in for a DUI. We'll uh, go through the necessary process of uh, drawing his blood. Um, and during that time, while we're getting that done, we'll also get the citations out of here. Um, this being alcohol, uh, I'd like to get his blood uh, drawn as quick as we, as we can. So that's why we're going to wait on uh, writing the tickets rather than doing it on the side of the road. And it looks like our um, tow truck is coming, but he's uh, not driving on the road, so he may not get here. We'll see. All righty. Here's our motorcycle. Let's go ahead and deactivate and head back to the SO with him. 521 County, I'll be uh, 1015, one white male at this time. We'll be en route to the Lane County Sheriff's Office for booking. I'd say my beginning mileage, but uh, these cars don't have a beginning mileage, so it's kind of just a texture on there. Um, I know he was doing above 78 miles an hour. The Wraith radar is a little funny on that. It, um, It'll lock the speed, but like if they go over that speed again, it won't lock it again at that higher speed. So I guarantee you he was doing upwards of like 80, maybe 85. But um, we still had a good reason to stop him. So what the heck are these people doing? Alrighty. We're going to leave a body cam roll until we get him to the jail. Alrighty, we're arriving here at the jail, so we'll get him booked in. Um, we'll take out the warrants on him. 
for DUI, uh, have EMS come. We'll do implied consent. If he does consent for us taking his blood, then we'll have EMS come uh, and draw his blood. Um, if he does not consent to it, we'll just get a search warrant and get his blood anyway, so that won't be a big deal. Um, after we do all of that, we'll serve him with the warrants. We'll get some citations written up for him um, and pretty much serve him all at the same time while he's in the back of the jail. So let's go ahead and get him booked in here. Alrighty, we just got him booked in for that, um, served his warrant, uh, and he did uh, comply with the implied consent, so we didn't have to get a search warrant for his blood or anything. Um, we also cited him for the stop sign infraction uh, and the speed 78 in a 50 marked, which actually we're going to clear that. Uh, um, so that all came off of a citizen calling him in as a possible impaired driver. Uh, or maybe that was a reckless driver. I, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. I think it was a possible reckless driver. But, I mean, kind of the same thing, to be honest with you. Anyway, that was an interesting stop. Um, kind of didn't really think he was going to stop at first, but he did eventually, so. Um, I love sitting in places like this because most people don't pay attention uh, to locations like this. And uh, this, this road here has traveled a lot running the stop sign is not a very safe thing to do so uh, yeah people around this stop sign here all the time I've only been here maybe a minute maybe a minute and a half and yeah this fellow here was the first person to go through it that <laughs> and that guy right just ran it too we're already behind the scuba here so let's go ahead and line him up here let's get a tag check on that it's gonna be Frank Charles Boy, five five four. Five two one county B ten eighty one with a gray in color SUV bearing San Andreas tag. Frank Charles Boy, five five four nearest postal three eleven East Joshua Road. Well, he didn't get off the road very much. Really don't feel like getting run over today. Let's kick our body cam on. Let's go ahead and make contact here. Come around the passenger side so we don't get run over and killed. Hey there, afternoon, Deputy Quarter of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you is I observed you're in that stop sign back there coming off of uh, Sea View um, here under Joshua Road. Have you got an ID on you? Registration, current proof of insurance for this vehicle. Let's actually go ahead and do the traffic stop introduction. Can I see your driver's license? There we go. He says, no problem. All right, let's go ahead and get that ID then. All right. Ulrich. McAllister. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. We've already run the tag, so we'll just go ahead and run his ID. He's coming back with a valid driver's license. I'm smelling uh, alcohol coming from the vehicle, so let's go ahead and ask him some standard questions about that. Um, okay. I'm, I'm smelling a odor, an odor of alcohol coming from the vehicle. Have you had anything to come from today? He said, officer, the party I just came from was so lit. Okay, so have you had anything to drink? Okay, you did have some. All right, do me a favor. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. We're going to keep our eye on him here as we're coming around the side. Watch his hands. All righty. Do me a favor. Come over here and follow me. I hate turning my back to people like this because it's not something you do, but got to do it in here. Okay. Um, so like I said, the reason I'm having you step out is I'm smelling some uh, alcohol co coming from the vehicle. Just just doing some... We'd like to run some standardized field sobriety tests on you if you're okay with that. Um, but before we do that, have you got anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me in any way? Um, you got any guns, knives, drugs, anything like that? Just for my safety. Go ahead and uh, I'm going to use the back of my hand and just do a light pat down on you, okay? Alright, I'm not finding anything, so... Um, let's ask questions, go up here to alcohol, and say, I'm, um, all right, I'm going to run some field sobriety tests on you, if you're, uh, if that's okay with you. Have you got any kind of medical conditions of any kind that'll hinder you from doing any of these tests, like, uh, anything that, you know, balance issues, or maybe eyesight issues? He said, I'm fine, but I don't want to participate. Okay, so that's not something you're willing to do. Um, well, at this time, let's, uh, let's actually go up here and, and check the, uh, observation. 
Well, his observation is normal, so he doesn't seem to be, um... Let's go ahead and do the observation from the, um... Narcotics one, because they seem to kind of... Normal. Interesting. Well, if I'm not seeing it in his eyes and he doesn't seem to be staggering or anything, um... We'll just RP it that he's got an open container in the car. Um, I guess we'll go with it like that. So, just for the heck of it, we're going to go ahead um, and kind of take a look through the vehicle here. I'll use the search function, but... Case of alcohol. Look at that. Yes, okay. So, the case of alcohol will just be in the center console. We'll just That'll be an open container. All right, sir, so here's the deal. You understand you can't have an open container while you're driving. You cannot, cannot be in your reach. You can't be drinking. So um, here's what I'm going to do for you. You're free to return back to your vehicle or stay here, right here where you're standing, which is probably what we'll do. I'm going to get you out of with two citations. One's going to be for running that stop sign, okay? Uh, second one's going to be for the open container, okay? Um, I'm not observing any signs of impairment. Uh, but you're lucky because I'm sure if I had caught you a few miles down the road or a little bit while, a little while later It would have been a little bit of a different story. Go ahead and sit tight for me Y'all can't see his driver's license because it's over on the right side of my screen and I'm playing on ultra wide, but bringing it down. Um, we're running his ID here. Actually, let's uh, let's put the screen this side so we can see him over here. His revoked fishing license. Wonder what he did to get that revoked. Um, I wish we were able to write citations like this. I'm going to do it all by hand. So 20, 23... Uh, the traffic stop was probably five minutes ago, so we'll just say, oops, 45, that's not quite five minutes ago, but okay, East Joshua Road, road at 311, postal code, um, the first one's going to be stop sign, which is, uh, oops, $130 for that. Uh, and how much was that? 130, I think it was. Correct. So, 130. Alright, we're not going to submit this. Um, we're going to have him sign it before we do. Because if he does not consent to that, we can go ahead and arrest him for it. Alright, sir, here's your citation. Um, it's going to be for failure to stop at the stop sign back there. Second one's going to be for having the upper container in the vehicle. Uh, court date's on the bottom here. Uh, just go ahead and show up. It's 9 a.m. here at, in the... Uh, You'll have to go up to Los Santos for the court date. Um, let's go to outro and sign here to acknowledge that you received it. Okay, so he says, I don't want any trouble, and then he signs. All right. All righty, sir, you're free to go. Make sure you stop on your stop signs, and please do not be drinking uh, any sort of alcoholic beverage while you're driving, okay? Take care. Be safe. All right. He's going to return to the passenger seat. Um, well, um, looks like he's just going to abandon his vehicle here. Let's just, let's just say he's going to take a leak and he'll be back here in a bit. I kind of hate it when they do that. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes they'll try it. They'll get back in the vehicle and just get back on the wrong side. And rather than driving out, they just sit there in the passenger seat. Cut the body cam off here. Um, will be 1098. So that was interesting. Uh, I did, you know, as soon as I walked up to the vehicle, I did observe the odor of alcohol. Uh, but when I pulled him out, um, I didn't observe any signs of impairment at all. So upon further investigation, I was able to see some uh, alcohol containers in the vehicle. It didn't specify whether they were open or not, but, you know, we could smell it, so we'll just... We'll just say it was open. Well, 
Well, just gonna run that right in front of me, huh? This truck did too. So, who do I get? I guess we'll run the tag on this truck. Um, we'll go. We'll go after the front guy. He's doing uh, about thirty and a fifty. So we'll run his tag. See what's going on here. Looks like he may take a left. Nope. All right, we're continuing on. Let's go ahead and light him up here. 521 County will be 1081 with a white color. Albany Emperor. Nearest postal 299 East Joshua Road. San Andreas tag. Boy Zebra Sam 209. Let's get him to pull up a little bit farther. Alright, this is looking good. So yeah, another simple stop sign violation. Let's go ahead and make contact. Cut the body cam on. Occupied times two. No initial observation, so that's good. Hi there, I'm Deputy Quarter with the, the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason I'm stopping you, um, you didn't stop at that stop sign back there. I'm sure you saw me after you did that. And you got an ID on you? Registration proof of insurance for this vehicle here. Uh, Dennis Dunmire. All right, I appreciate that, sir. So we already ran the tag. Let's go ahead and get his uh, driver's license. Okay, expired since 2021. Um. Let's talk about the moving violation, which was the stop sign. He didn't stop at the stop sign back there, and he says, honest mistake, sorry, officer. Okay, just sit tight for me, okay? I'll be right back with you. Um, so he's got an expired driver's license since 2021. Expired driver's license to me are not huge deal. I mean, that is over two years let's see what time December so it's practically 2022 it's about a it's about a year a little over a year oh we didn't submit that last citation let's go ahead and do that um let's run him see if he has any priors vehicles insured and registered so I spelled that incorrectly but I want to change my view so I can keep an eye on those goobers here done Meyer, I believe. There we go. Driver's license expired. No criminal record, so we're looking good there. Um, I'll be lenient on the uh, stop sign since literally the vehicle behind him did it as well. I'm going to get him out of here with two verbal warnings on each of those. All right, Mr. Dunmire, here's your ID back um, and your information, the rest of your information. Here's the deal. I'm going to cut you out here with uh, two breaks. The first one's going to be for the stop sign. I'm going to give you a verbal warning on that. The second one's going to be for your driver's license. I'm not sure if you're aware or not, but your driver's license has been expired for a little over a year. Um, so I could be citing you for both of those, and I'm not going to do that today. But in the future, stop at your stop signs. That's your responsibility as a driver to keep everyone else safe on the road. Uh, you've got to do your part and be safe. Uh, and obviously, go ahead and get your driver's license taken care of. I'm sure if you get stopped again, the uh, officer may not be as lenient. So, uh, y'all be safe, take care, and uh, be very careful pulling out here in traffic. People don't pay attention. Alrighty. So, nice little traffic stop, and he just about got rear ended doing that, which is why I told him to be careful. Um, what I like to do. On traffic stops is cut my front lights off when I'm letting him go and leave my back ones on um, and, and even cut my headlights off because I work night shift uh, and that way they can look in the rear view and not be completely blinded uh, it just makes it a little safer for them to pull off pull away from the traffic stop um, and then once they pulled away I, um, I just I pull out and then I cut my rear lights off that was an interesting traffic stop uh, literally right down the road from the other one um, the reason I didn't write him a citation for the stop sign, like I said, I saw the other vehicle do it, uh, and, uh, I mean, driver's license, it's not like he's going to forget how to drive in a year, so. Right now, we are, uh, trying to catch up to a, uh, possible 
pursuit of a DUI suspect here. Uh, looks like they're going to be here on Joshua Road. Technically speaking, this pursuit is ongoing, and I would be just catching up to it. Come on, guys, move out of the road. Um, but I'm pretty much just going to be the primary. I don't have any details on what the vehicle looks like. Um, just know that it's a possible DUI suspect trying to run, so I'm going to get up here and figure out which vehicle it is. All right, that's going to be our suspect here. County, it's going to be a black in color, uh, Albany Emperor, San Andreas Tag, Ida Frank Frank 099. We're going to be headed uh, eastbound Joshua Road, nearest postal 236. We're not going too fast. Okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is so realistic. People have no idea how to get out of the way. There we go. This uh, black SUV was like, what do I do? I see police lights. What do I do? Um, we'll, we'll pursue him for a bit. If he starts getting crazy, we'll go ahead and try and get a pit maneuver on him. We're honestly not going that absurd right now, so we'll, we'll kind of see how this plays out, see if he kind of wrecks it out on the side of the road himself, or if we have to give him a little bit of a nudge. County, we're doing about 70 miles an hour, continuing eastbound on Joshua Road. Speeds are picking up about 75 miles per hour. We're near supposed to 282 at this time. Gonna keep some distance on him here. Trying to think of where I'd like to pit him. That was honestly a great place to do it back there. And here we go with Farmer Bill and his tractor. Just gotta get through here, excuse me. Random ped walking in the road. County, we just passed CV Road, near supposed to 090, coming up to the interstate here. <clears throat> See if it takes a right or goes straight. I'm willing to bet he's gonna go straight. Don't T-bone me. Let's catch back up here. Oh boy. He's right in the center lane here. Good lord, look at that. Let's see here. He's going to go probably up to Grapeseed. 521 County, nearest post to 100. We're coming back across the uh, interstate at Union. Oh, goodness. Driver of the vehicle, get out of the car. All right, let's go ahead and get a speed zone down, because otherwise we're going to get just absolutely clobbered. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Why can't I not grab him? You can only grab a cuffed suspect. Okay. 51 County, we got this pursuit ended here. Near supposed to 100. I got one white male, 1015 at this time. Uh, vehicle appears to be clear. I'd get highway patrol out here instantly and start blocking the road off. Alright, you got anything that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me? A beer and a dog collar. Okay. It's an uh, interesting combination. Go ahead and uh, let's see. We get his driver's license. Take a seat. Watch your head. <clears throat> All right. Um. I guess we'll just kind of see what's going on with the vehicle here. I don't recall if we ran the tag. It's registered to Page Piles. Uh, dri that's not the driver, but it's not registered stolen, so it should be good there. Let's go ahead and search the vehicle here. Uh, I'm not finding anything. We'll, um, what we'll do is we'll get a tow truck out here for this thing. We'll do the field sobriety over here on the side of the road, and then we will transport him and uh, do blood work and whatnot. Um, 
County, can I get a tow truck out here for this vehicle? It's going to be San Andreas Tag, Ida Frank Frank 099. There's pistol 100. Alrighty. Alright, Frank. You're going to be under arrest for uh, felony evading of a peace officer. Reckless driving. Um, and a slew of other charges, possibly DUI, so we'll see as soon as this tow truck gets out here, which uh, looks like it despawned itself, so that's cool. Oh, no, it didn't. It actually picked it up. Look at that. Tow truck actually doing what it's supposed to, except it's not on there. Okay, well, I'm not going to ask questions. County, I'm going to open the road back up here. Um, we'll still be out here at this scene. Let's go ahead and remove the speed zone. Let's get him on the side of the road here. Uh, we'll do field right here. All right, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Well, to be honest with you, actually, um, what we'll do, we'll just ask, we'll we'll check his um, observation check. He smells of alcohol. Uh, observation check is normal. We're not even gonna do um, field sobriety we don't technically need to uh, I've already got him cuffed so let's go ahead and place him back in the vehicle and just get him booked in we'll charge him with DUI uh, whoop, we'll get his blood and that'll be what kind of seals his fate in court field sobriety is just kind of like a another thing that you can kind of throw in there that gives you probable cause for the arrest um, but we should be good on that let's go ahead and get him in route to the SO 521 County I'll be uh, in route to Blaine County Sheriff's Office jail for booking Oh goodness. This is not safe. Don't kill me. Alrighty, we're gonna get him booked in here. Alright, so uh, that was interesting. Basically, uh, we went ahead and booked him in for felony evading. Um, uh, when we went to, and, and booked him in for driving under the influence, uh, when I went to read him the implied consent, he, uh, declined, so I had to get a search warrant for his blood, um, <laughs> uh, and, so, that's not gonna look good for him when it goes to court. Went ahead and cited him for the stop sign infractions, the speeding, reckless driving, uh, Pretty much anything I observed him do, failure to maintain lane. I don't uh, I don't appreciate people putting other people at risk just because they, they don't want to go to jail and kind of suck up for the things they've done. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. It was kind of interesting. Got a few uh, tra good traffic stops in there. Um, didn't really have any narcotics uh, stuff. It was mostly alcohol, which is interesting. Typically, uh, San Andreas is kind of filled with narcotics. But... Uh, Appreciate you guys coming and uh, watching, and uh, take care.